Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Forza Motorsport 6, and I threw together this quick video to show you all available cars in the game. I believe there's 460 base cars, plus a few DLC cars available from the start, and obviously they'll be adding more and more as the game goes by. Now at any point, you can go to the career menu, go to the cars menu, and buy a car. I'll be going through all the cars, and you can sort the cars by manufacturer, class, the year of production, and then you can toggle whether you want to show or include or exclude certain car classes, certain drivetrains, and whether or not you can afford that car. Now I'll be going through the cars alphabetically and in each kind of manufacturer, they're listed in by year. So the newest cars are at the top and the oldest cars at the bottom of the list in each individual manufacturer. Now I'll be going through all 460 cars and showing you them. I do recommend that you actually watch all of them because there are some very very unique cars that I'll be going through that you might not have even known existed and a lot of them even caught me by surprise. Now I'll be joining you up in a few minutes to talk about some of the customization options as well as other options available in the game.
So we're kind of rounding out the car selection in the game and you've probably noticed there's a large array of like really unique cars which is really cool and they've included a lot of race cars and the true R class is back which has been out of the Forza series for a little bit now. And I'll be showing you that there is Forza Vista. Every single car has Forza Vista. You can get a small cinematic about the car where they talk about its history, open the doors, turn on its lights and uh, look around it. And there's also obviously the ability to tune your car and upgrade your car. Now under the upgrade shop, you do have your quick upgrade, which has always existed. And I highly recommend that you don't use quick upgrade as it tends to make your car a boat. It makes it very heavy, but very fast. So when you turn, it kind of skids out. I highly recommend that you learn some of the intricacies of self upgrades and you'll be able to make way better cars for yourself if you just learn some of the fundamental basics. Now the upgrade system should look very familiar to Forza veterans and anyone who's new to the series should be able to kind of understand what's being shown on screen very easily. You can go through each kind of category of upgrades so you can do something like your engine and your speed or you can kind of go into the handling and the drivetrain stuff, the customization stuff. Now every car has a little bit of different things depending on what it's about. Now I chose the Subaru Impreza as my starter car. I know it has a lot of decent upgrades available to it. You can change a whole bunch of things about it. Some cars have very little options to change because they're just built a certain way and the game wants you to play them in that way. For example, a lot of the race cars like the F1 car and the Formula E cars, those are pretty stock and they don't let you change a lot. Now under the upgrade shop, you can also select rims as you always have been able to, tires, tire width, and rim size. Now I won't be showing all of the rims right now. I will be showing them later in a different menu that I decided to include in this video because of how Forza 6 handles customization. It's in a separate menu in some ways. So I wanted to show that off in that section instead of this section. You can also do like front bumper, side skirts, back bumper, wing, and like hood. And obviously some cars don't have this option available. The Subaru has more options available than the typical car because it is that kind of rally legend and it has a lot of history. And a lot of cars, like a lot of people like to tune this car up in different ways, make it look different and uh, do crazy stuff with it, turn it into like drift tunes. You can also obviously do all your engine swap stuff that's always been there and your drivetrain swap to change all wheel drive cars to real wheel drive cars and vice versa. There's also the ability to tune individual components about your car once you do upgrade it, but I won't be showing that in depth in this video. Now there's a new tab in the kind of garage menu or the career menu, and that's the customization tab. Clicking this tab will basically give you quick access to all of the things that change the physical appearance of your car. Now, a lot of these will also actually change the performance of your car based on like the weight of the rims and the, the drag on the spoilers, for example. I'm gonna be showing you all of the rims right now, and then I'm gonna be showing you kind of the paint styles and the paint options and some of that stuff. Now in this customization tab, like I said, you can change the rims, the tire width, uh, the rim size, stuff like the front bumper, back bumper, spoiler hood, side skirts. You can change the suspension to get your ride to be lower. And uh, that's kind of what this menu was invented for. It's for people who just want to make their cars look pretty or in a certain way. And uh, I'll, I'll join you back up in a few seconds when we do start talking about paint options. Now we've neared the end of the rim options. What I'm gonna be doing now is backing out and showing you the paint car options. Now, as with tuning, you can load your own paint jobs that you've saved from previous games, or you can load other people's paint jobs that they have created. So here are some that have been made before. Obviously you can do that same stuff with tunes. So if you're not a very good tuner, you can always download a tune off of the marketplace. Now, once you come to painting your body, you can just paint your body the whole, the whole body one color, or you can kind of paint the whole body one color and then individually paint your hood and your mirrors and your spoiler. Obviously, all of the normal colors return. Uh, you can also pick all of the manufacturer colors, and then there's a whole wide variety of special colors. Now, these kind of show a certain stock, so there's like semi-gloss, matte, uh, metal flake. 
And even though like the first one's red and the second one's red and the third one's green, you can change those to kind of reflect whatever color you want. So you can have like a blue metal flake if you want. There's also these like pearlescent kind of multicolor uh, options available. We have the return of like carbon fibers and woods and metals and all that stuff. And obviously you can change each individual kind of part of the car. You don't have to paint the entire whole car one color. You also have the ability to like add decals and make designs by using different shapes and different colors onto your car. You can save decals and then apply them to a different wide variety of cars if you want. So the paint options in Forza as always are very in depth and the creators of like art assets for cars will be very uh, familiar with that and they'll understand that perfectly as it hasn't changed much at all. So those are kind of all of the paint options. I thought I would end the video by showing you something that I thought was decently cool. You can change your home space in this game from an outside kind of home space to a garage space. So I went ahead and done that as I end the video. Thank you guys so kindly for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with your favorite car in the game. Feel free to subscribe if you like my videos and share them with your friends. And hopefully I see you next time. Peace.